Hello and welcome to Hearts of Iron 4. I'm Ace8, playing the Road to 56 as El Salvador. So, about a month or two ago, I did a playthrough as the Republic of Honduras, getting bought out by the United Fruit Company. And let's try El Salvador. So, a lot of this looks pretty generic. Yeah, this is the generic industry tree for Road 56. This new, I think. Yeah, this is generic. Generic. Nothing out of the ordinary here. Again, this doesn't look too abnormal compared to anything else. It's very not as exciting or as unique as the Honduras tree was. So I'm going to be trying going for this Central American Unification. So, right, what can I get here? One infrastructure in El Salvador. Yeah, El Salvador has this reputation in the in the bit in the community of being a bit of a meme. They tend to flood out loads of crappy divisions and then sit there doing nothing let's see what we've got here a six with infantry division with nothing else we don't have the industry for anything else right now so we should probably get started on that right also gonna need some of this so army xp i'll get started on this I'll take our time with them. I can't remember what way I did. Max buy. Okay. So do the usual startup stuff. And because we have a crap on me, the only thing I can really do is build more of these. If I want another factory, I can just build guns. Well, this is going to be painful. Hmm. And just try. And can't really promote anyone yet. So. For actual conquests, are we going to try going for Honduras first? But I will need a much bigger army before I can do that. Then head up towards Guatemala. And then push down towards Nicaragua, Costa Rica, and Panama. Alright, having got the general staff, I'm going to focus on industrial build-up. And the closest I can probably I can go down is infrastructure here. Maybe it, well, I can't even re research anything. Use these yet. So do industrial build up, then improve infrastructure, then focus on internal matters, and try going down the nationalism. Saving this um industrial bonus I have for construction two, because I can then go. Right down here to span civilian manufacturers or span these two very quickly. I also needed to get try and get towards this reveal mineral wealth. Now I do need excavation three, which means I need construction three. Mainly so I can get this and then get rid of this banana republic debuff. Bit of a bit of a pain, but I'm stuck with. As far as the rest of industry goes, I'm probably going to go with concentrated because we just need way more factories. I'm not likely to be going up against any major air support anyway. As far as our political advisors go, I might go with um, the fascist demagogue first, mainly so I can actually get to this quicker. And then after that, probably Captain of Industry, Elusive Gentleman, 
And once I no longer need this guy, I'll switch out for the Armand Advisor because those extra conduction speeds would be pretty helpful. See, there we go. Yeah, research and artillery because artillery is just too good to pass up. Of course, I can't really use it right now because I don't have the factories. But I can get them. And once I do, I'm going to create these. Uh, my plan for expanding this army is to try and get this up to the end width with support artillery. Like, they're not great, but I'm not going to be up against anything much better for the time. Once I get a chance to turn convert them to 18 width, I will do so. So I can't get this mineral well. Reveal mineral wealth thing as well. Either I've got excavation three and or control more than one stage. That's going to be a while away. So what I'm probably going to do after this is go into new schools of modern teaching just to get the extra research slot. Then expand military capacity so I can start building artillery and supply trucks. Then probably go back in here and. Do do at least these three. That'll give this will give me a bonus to researching support equipment, which I will need. And this gives me a bonus to researching motorized, which then I need that to get this. Alright, now to hold a national referendum. Lose stability, but we get this stability, but we're gonna get that back. And of course, because fascist assault division removed, that should help clean this up. Hmm. Hmm. So actually, after this, no, I said I was going to do expand military factories so I can at least start getting artillery and supply trucks. And after. So yeah, new schools and modern teaching, expand military capacity, army reform, army modernization, motorization there. I know it's quite a way by the way, but I do need to get this construction three out of the way so I can get activation three. So I'm gonna do this up now, even if it's forever. Actually no, I'll save that until I have a until I can get Invite German investors. Actually, I'm just going to start cozying up to Germany a little bit. Gain some investors. So this, we don't have civilian trains. We will need those later. So my plan now is to go for expand military capacity, then invite German investors to get that research bonus. Then use it. Then do as I had planned. Bridge. May as well start this now. We're going to need them. Right. So do I go with my usual superior firepower? I'd say buffing as much much soft attack as we can get away with is probably the best way to do this because well that's Because we're fascist or authoritarian, I think this is probably the best one for now. It'll just give us some extra political power game while we we build up. And then for now, I'll go with political loyalty because it'll buff our stability quite a bit. Let's right, so I have less than a month until I can get go for this excavation three. At which point I will be able to go into here, then go into reform the taxes. I'm just going to bank that for now to, until that's complete. And I should be able to get this elusive gentleman quicker, which means we can get guys building up a network into Honduras because they're going to be my first victim. 
but we'll go with Victor. I should start just. I need the extra power for Bash. All right, time to start declaring. Well, oh, this is gonna take forever. After this mineral wealth, I should go with that expansive policy because that would reduce that by twenty percent of the, which would save me what? Well, I'm just run the calculations. That would save me two days on the war goal. Screw it. Just do it the old way. And I only just have enough support equipment to get the these guys all their engineers we're gonna need. This will do uh mass machine tools. And we just lost a spy. Darn. Shouldn't have gone until I had two of them. Almost none of these military high commands are useful to me at the moment. That might be later, but this guy might also be later. For now, I'm just gonna leave them blank. I want to go to part for partial mobilization so I can see how long does this take? 65 days. How long do we have left on this? Oh, yeah, we got plenty of time for. Save up the political power and go for partial mobilization just so I can get some factories built quicker. I am very short of construction speed here. Let's see now. Let's sniper teams. And then restart researching cavalry recon. Because yeah, that'll buff my infantry. All right, so I have 40 days left on the war goal. So I want to spend it. Hmm. Right, develop our own designs, then fight for focus, and then our own dare doctrine. I have started designing close air support, but I haven't got factories for them yet. Probably not going to need them for a while anyway, because who else are we going to be fighting if coming out in the air? Well, Poland has kicked off elsewhere. World War II has kicked off elsewhere. We're going to be starting very soon. Let's basic training, yeah. And while I'm at it, I'm going to start justifying a war goal against the Republic of Guatemala. It'll last for 310 days. Forever. And here we go. Oh yeah, look at how much more we're doing to them. If they want to supply in our ports, sure, why not? Like, we outnumber them, there's nothing they can do. Yeah, terrain modifiers mean we have a bit of a penalty here, but again, we outnumber them so heavily, it just doesn't make any difference. Here's another day. Fish. Waste. Pushman of San Pedro Sula, and that should be enough. Oh, and the third division can take a can take a medal for hmm, organization. Back, recon, plus armor, breakthrough, recovery rate, and third modifier. I think just an extra 5% of Zach is what, kind of what we need right now. It's just that the plants go from take a Palla to San Pedro Sula. 
And let's see. Let's start getting a better weaponry because we're going to need them. Should be done in a few days. We really care about that division. They, they're not going to be able to do much to us. And that is it. Trying to sweep her and uh, flank him and get Guatemala. Now, can I? We don't have nearly enough my territories. This to garrisons. Default to garrisons because that's. Oh, sorry. There, you start rooting out the resistance. Mm, still higher than I would like. But... Intelligence. Looks like the war justification against the Karagua would take much less time 90 days. Whereas this has still got. Far fewer, longer. Might as well train these guys up a little bit more, and then once we're re once we're ready to go, charge straight in. Colombia has joined the Allies, so I probably will not be going to war with them. And in about a week, we should have the... Justification for... Conquering and Nicaragua should be complete. One month after that to be able to go after Guat. They're, they've got a larger army, so they'll be a little bit hard to deal with. Well, I think we can do that. One dockyard. So useful. Here we go. And we have a single, one or two planes, how many do we have again? One. They declared war in Iceland. All right, they're pinned down here. They're going to be pinned down here. So we should be able to take Manigua very quickly. Then Esteli. Yep, should be done very, very quickly. Now they're going to retreat back here because they can't retreat this way, I think. Yep, that's it done. And the 9th Division are taking part of Managua. The military made it across. Hundred and seventy five days. We have less than 30 days to take that, so I may as well get started. afford to guess this nope we only have 12 factories boo and we might as well give our five planes a chance to attack here
yeah, they have absolutely no air, air support, so we're pretty much just going to stomp all over them. Now, Guatemala is mountainous, so it's gonna, they're going to be very heavily dug in, parts of this lodge. But, oh, uh, I think I may have spoken too soon. Looks like they just... They just cannot hold against us. Then we got what... I don't know how to pronounce that. Right, we are going to need guns. We support equipment because... Put you on them, um, rooting out the resistance here. Oh, oh what's this? Damn it, they cut us off. That was dumb. But they can't actually do much to us. Right, the first division. Breakthrough, recon, attack. You know, I think organization would probably be good here. Oh, they took, what was this, Punto Barrios. Hmm, they're actually putting up a better better fight than I thought. All right, push in there and just push them back out. Yep, I got a bit bit careless there. Oh, we must have lost a plane here. Or something. Right. That should get rid of them. See, air support mission. See, that was great. And see how long will this take to. Uh, we've still got another 125 days in this, so I think I'm going to pause this episode here. And when I come back, take Costa Rica, and then we should be able to reconstitute the Federal Republic. Of Central America. After that, I don't know where we're going to go, but we will see. In that case, bye for now.